the acolyte I, is canceled. We don't know if it's going to continue or not. But there were it raised a lot of questions, broke a lot of canon in some people's opinions. Uh, wasn't the best thing for Star Wars. Was the best thing for Star Wars at all? You know, it's a very divisive show. The bottom line is, though, not enough people watched it to really justify a second season. So we're not going to get that. The season ended. Spoilers. If you haven't seen, if you haven't seen, it, you're probably not going to watch it. But spoilers. The acolyte ends with Vernestra, Master Vernestra, walking over to tell, I guess, to tell Yoda the events of the show we just watched, which, I mean, a recap might have been what we all wanted. One of the main issues that people have had with this show was Yoda, because uh, the show is about Jedi getting offed. And I think that's a really cool idea. I don't think they necessarily hit that home. Uh, but I, I like the idea. I like the idea of, okay, we're in a high republic. Jedi are the top dogs you know they've never been higher than they are they are the masters of, of the universe as i say and um here we are they're getting killed mysteriously and this isn't brought up right they hide it from the council the jedi hide it from the, the council and that's like no we're gonna have an issue no there's gonna be an issue we're gonna hide it from the council so they don't do that but at the end she obviously goes to tell yoda and a lot of it's been what has been going on why did no yoda not uh, not sense the deaths of these jedi when they were occurring and I've been thinking about it, and I mean, I think really the real reason, full stop, I think the real reason is an oversight on uh, on the writing team. I know everyone complains that there was a writer who had never seen Star Wars and blah, 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 but I, I do think that enough of them knew what was going on. And plus there's, I think there's still a writing group, but there are people who maintain the lore and, and whatnot, and maybe they're just not doing their job all the time i don't know but with this instance uh it, it you know i was trying to like, when it ha when especially after episode five when the stranger massacred half of the you know the, all the no-name jedi the red shirts and then jackie and yord like just like mass like yord got his head snapped and yoda didn't sense any of it and i was like well maybe next week we'll cut to to something but no so there's there's a few avenues to go. One, uh, this hat, you know, Yoda didn't react because the show wasn't about Yoda, so we never see Yoda's point of view, right? We never see Yoda react because we're never with Yoda until the very, very end, which kind of maybe don't bring Yoda in. But so that could be one. Like maybe Yoda did sense them, but because we're the show never is never with Yoda, there was no point to to bring him in. The other uh thing that i thought that i want to bring up is is perhaps he couldn't sense them it wasn't an op he didn't have an opportunity to because the, the dark side was clouding everything and the way the dark side clouds it is in a way that he doesn't even recognize that the dark side's around don't forget the sith haven't been around forever at this point there's been no sith so he like someone as old and wise as yoda probably wouldn't even recognize the the sith clouding any the future or their judgments around them at all there he would just he wouldn't even know he wouldn't recognize that feeling of it even as powerful as he is because he's never experienced it and no one that he knows would have been able to tell him how to experience that and so that could be his judgment now when Vanestra tells him sorry to disturb you master it could clue something into his mind and he could realize oh maybe there's something larger at play here and that could live with him for a long time and we can get to the point in attack of the clones when anakin kind of kind of goes into the dives into the dark side a little bit takes out all those tuscan raiders we could go into that and he has that feeling pain suffering and when order 66 is coming yoda starts to feel things right we see him react we see him to know and now at that point the sith cloud is lifted but before with the Anakin stuff, maybe he's learning to tap in to see through the dark side. Young Skywalker is in pain, terrible pain. In terms of his feelings and his emotions and that of his, the people around him, the Jedi around him. And he's starting to learn. He has learned because of these events. He has learned how to see through the mist, if you will, and have a better sense of the Jedi and the people around him that he cares about, that he works with, that are that are keeping the galaxy safe. And because of the events that he missed, that he was not able to sense a century prior, 
He spent all that time learning, ingesting knowledge, seeing through the dark cloud. But he could never fully grasp what the dark cloud was. If it was Sith, if it was Dark Jedi, he couldn't fully grasp it because there was nothing around there. And again, through that time, it was all peace in the galaxy. Between the, the events of the Acolyte and the Phantom Menace, until they flesh it out, which they're not going to because the Acolyte failed and they're not going to go touch that time period again in any kind of film or television show. So until that's fleshed out, nothing has happened of consequence to the Jedi for a hundred years that would make Yoda sense more deaths. Nothing. So that's just something I was thinking about. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think it was, I mean, look, the, the writing and whatnot aside, obviously we can have our opinions on that and whatnot, but really what it comes down to is headcanon and what we're going to decide it's going to be. And my thought is right now, the dark, like we saw Plagueis peeking out the cave window there. You know, he's like, oh, good to see some some action you know we saw him there so he could be the one shrouding you know the jedi council with this darkness it could have been the stranger we don't know how powerful the stranger is he says you can call me a sith he's not really a sith maybe maybe he is i don't know ren but plagueis is there so we know that there's a, a dark cloud covering over the jedi council uh, we're all of the jedi in the galaxy they can't quite see clearly because of it this could have affected yoda yoda could have figured something about a clue to it out and worked for a hundred years to figure that out. And then when Anakin goes, and when the Jedi goes, it comes to full fruition. And he's like, oh man, oh man, I gotta go with my gut from now on. Always trust your gut, everyone. Thank you everybody for watching. Give us a like and subscribe. And until next time, may the force of others be with you.